either somebody else midfielder to come in like for like like Mowat. You're not going to get Alex Mowat every week in this league. Um, and then um, Solbauer as well, big influence, very consistent defender. We lost him as well, and then we lost obviously his backroom staff. We lost his manager, lost his CEO, lost CEOs, helpers, and all that stuff. They should have just gone for sensible. You know what? There's been a looper up all. First game back, you, you know, first season back with fans. Just let's just show things up for a season and then we'll we'll go back. You know, we'll try things again season after if it worked. But it's just like we've just gone back to what we know. Um and listen, I wanted it to work for shop. I wanted it to work for every manager that comes in. And it's not personal. I've got no against manager as a person. It's not worked. And I don't know why they just can't see that. The results are there and clear to see. The performances are there and clear to see. Why they're not you know, and it You've got a question why have they not got rid of him on what basis have they not got rid of him? It can because they're they're happy with results. You know, if and if they are, come on. Twenty third in the league. You know, comments that Chief Executive made are concerning. You you probably know what they all are, but they are concerning. You've got to be and even if you're most optimistic fan that can't get negative about a lot of things. And I'm not being negative here, you're just questioning it. What were them comments all about? Finish fifth last season, you're questioning value at players. I think value of players went up, if I'm being honest. I think it were actually the club that had turned around and said, listen, we're not going to sell as easy as, as we used to. And rightly so. We shouldn't be selling players four or five a year every year. Where stability on pitch, you know, and the coach that comes in, the, the short changed every time because we're bringing players in that's a risk. And players that are still at club, they're having to adapt and work with new players every season. You need a settled team. You can't just be chopping and changing players every year. It doesn't work. It does not work. Success is gained with stability and having a good infrastructure in place. You can't just keep chopping and changing, chopping and changing. It's this thing about having more value to us. You know, I didn't agree with it and I'll never agree with it. It's disrespectful to fans, it's disrespectful to players that performed that last season that got us where, got us to where we were. And, um, you know, I think he should have thought that, that comment that he said a lot more. The chief executive is not endeared himself to the fans saying that at all. You know, he's meant to be basis between board and club and the fan base and you know, should have thought out that, that comment a lot better. So for me, you know, I'm surprised Shop still, well, am I surprised? No, I thought, you know, if we lost the, if we'd lost probably more than three and we'd not scored yesterday, maybe he might have gone as that given more time, those two goals. Do the, do the, these are all questions. Do they think that those two goals is a reflection on the manager? No, it's a reflection of players bonding together. They show that that's what can be done if they have a, if they have a bit of fight about him, and like I said, I think if with the right manager, that they'd look that they'd, for me, if we got rid of shot, we'd have to go for a man manager, in my opinion. Some that's going to be working with young players, some of that's got experience this league. You know, even if it's just an interim till the end of the season, um, geek gigsy, some people are saying, <laughs> um, but he's got to go. He's got. He's going to leave at some point. They, they can't keep this. The longer it goes on and on, the just damage is going to be worsened for the club. The fans are going to be more like apathetic towards going to the games. The, the players' confidence is just going to get to a point. It's like you know what, forget this. And I don't. They're not playing for him. They're not playing for him. They played for us and they played for themselves in those last twenty minutes yesterday. You know they might work with the manager. It's because they have to. It's their job. Um, but the longer and longer it goes on, the longer the season goes on, the longer that we go without winning a game. It's just worsening the situation and I just can't understand just from a sporting perspective that they can see that we're 23rd in the league. It's not worked. Just hold your hands up and say that. We'd appreciate it. I'd respect to more for, for coming out and saying that than just going on and on and just keeping this manager in an open. It's going to change. It's not. It's not. Because if so, it'd, it'd have done something by now on the pitch during a game. It'd have, saw, it'd, it'd have switched the formation before a game. So the same tactics for every team. I, I don't know what the tactics are half the time. It's confusing. If it's confusing to me, it's confusing to the players that have to listen to his instructions every day. You know, it can be changed, but they've got to change it now. They can't keep waiting and waiting. And when we go to Bristol City this Saturday, we've, we've got an awful record there. You know, we never win many games there. I can't remember the last time we won there. You know, people might say, well, Bristol City aren't doing well. Well, they're playing us this Saturday, so... You know, I think I don't think they've won since whenever, but you know, I can't see his winning this Saturday if he's still here. And of course I want the players to do well. Of course, I, of course I want us to win every game that we play. 
I just cannot see at this moment in time off this manager's here. He's got to go. It's as simple as that. He's got, he's got to go. You know, that's the first thing that needs rectifying. And then we look at above. You know, and there's got to be questions answered from above with the recruitment and all this, that and the other. Um, and yeah, he's been dealt a bad hand with injuries. And, you know, it's not ideal. Of course, it's not ideal. You know, we, sh we should be having a better start in 11. I get that. However, it's one winning with 15. It's, it's got to go. It's got to go. Um, so, yeah, that's my review for Sheffield United. And overall, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, pretty down at the moment as a Barnsley fan. Can't get any worse, can it, really? Um, except being bottom of the league, officially. Um, and we go to Bristol City. Let's hope that this week they can come up with a game plan. And um, it's going to be another long 90 minutes if we go to Bristol City and he's still in charge. And like I said, it's nothing personal, but he's just not the man for the job. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Um, and they've got to make a change. I've said Ryan Lowell all, all along, but will he come here? Because um, Plymouth are doing so well. I'd love, him. I'd love us to go for somebody like that. You don't have to go for a name all the time or like a known name. They always get linked with us. You know, go for somebody a bit different. Young, young British manager, give him a chance, you know, give him three or four years to build a project because I think that's what's missing is the the lack of knowing where we are going to go long term. I think we just go from season to season and hope something works out in the end. But in the end, that means stagnation because you've got no long term project or a vision of where you want to be. So you end up drifting, drifting. Last season, I think, there were, of course, there were an element to look. There's a look to every success in life. But at the same time, they deserve to be there, in my opinion. More, more, more often than not, because we were organised. We've lost that, but we've also lost the identity. And I think we've we've lost a vision of what we know as a, as a team. And I think when you lose that, you, you know, results and then poor performances come after that. And I think as a club, we've got to start looking as to where we want to be four or five years' time. Are we happy being 20th every season? And if that's the case, then obviously... As a as a as a as a identification that run the club as a board, just come out and say that. Um, but if we want to be higher, let's address it. Let's sort things out. Let's just not expect to be up there top ten and not have a team that competes in the top ten. Because these lads, listen, I think some of them have improved and some of them are not good enough for this league. I'll admit that. Um, I'm not going to go into names, who I think, but there are there are areas that need addressing. Um. However, I, st I still think that with, with a different manager that things could be changed and we could be at least more competitive than we are. Um, so it's very frustrating why this manager change has not happened yet. And like I said, he's not the, he's not the main issue, I get that. But that is something that needs sorting out now. I what definitely are we in the Championship of the League 1 and this moment in time, the longer it keeps going on and on, like I said, for the players' confidence, it's going to get to a stage, it's going to get that bad, it's going to be irreparable. Um, so yeah, there you go guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've not already subscribed and you're watching for the first time, please do, it helps with our engagement with YouTube and also gets more people to view it, which is always nice. Ahead of Bristol City, we'll be doing a Bristol City preview later in the week. Um, if you are a Bristol City fan, or if you are a host of a Bristol City channel and you want to be involved in our preview, it's always nice to get hold of opposition's views um, that, we, that we've not spoken to before. It's nice to get good connections there. Do let us know in the comments and we'll arrange something behind the scenes and we'll get you guys on, which will be very appreciated. Let us know what you think to what I've said um, in the comments. And yeah, we'll be doing a, re a preview for Bristol City later in the week with Neil, hopefully, and get one of the lads on to speak about that as well. And um, we'll speak to you later in the week, as obviously if there's any other developments that we find out, we'll uh, get some content up there to share with you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a lovely rest of your week. And um, yeah. I'll speak to you all later. See you later, you Reds.